What's going on guys? Out here today to run some rounds through this 6.5 Grindle. Uh, this is the 12 and a half inch AR pistol version. Uh, did a full review on this, on all the build specs, the components I put into it. If you guys haven't watched that yet, I'll make sure and put it the card at the end of the video. Uh, we are dealing with a clear weapon right here and we'll get it loaded up here before too long. Just gonna shoot down here. Uh, right at 75 yards is what I can get here in the yard on this location. Uh, not going to shoot to the backfield today. Just going to kind of get a zero here on some uh, some steel plates down here and then uh, might shoot some paper at the end. Not sure yet, but going to run through this. Just kind of show you guys how this performs, how it shoots and uh, got a couple different ammos that we're going to use today. So you can probably tell already, but it's super windy out here today. It's pretty steady at like 12 to 14 mile per hour, but we're going to go ahead and shoot and see how it does. Going to shoot some 100 grain full metal jacket, just some regular wolf steel case ammo, shoot that at first. Been really happy with the 90 grain TNT from Night Ops. And I'm also doing some of my own load testing on the 90 grain TNT and the Varmageddon as well. And all shooting today that we're doing is gonna be standing off the tripod and we'll run through some rounds here. Keep breaking my plates. I need to get some bolts to get those more secure. Some of them I just had zip tied so that's not working real well, but hit that first one there in the center and then move to that real small one on the left and hit it. All right, you probably won't be able to pick this up, but I've got that white paper down there and I've got a couple of orange dots on it. You can start getting a little better zero and uh, we'll fire a few shots here and see how it does. All right, this is with that steel case wolf ammo. Uh, you can see the top one there, a little bit high. Made an adjustment, I'm good there. And then I'm gonna use this dot down here and see where those uh, 90 grain TNT land. All right, now we're gonna try these 90 grain TNT on the bottom dot. A little bit high there. All right guys, went and grabbed the target. Uh, you can see there, that's that first miss that I mentioned verbally. And then I uh, lowered it. Definitely not the tightest groups, but a big saying of mine, that right there is minute of coyote. And that's all I asked for out of a coyote rifle. That's gonna get the job done right there. I made uh, two clicks to my left right there. And I just ranged this, probably should have ranged it before I got started, but Kind of guessed it at about 75 yards it is 85 yards um probably going to stretch it out here uh to 100 yards not today but at some point before coyote season gets here and shoot this off of a bipod just to get a real hard zero on it but i could take it out like this and be confident with it all day long on coyotes so 
Might just leave it the way it is. Might take it out to 100 yards out here. We'll see. But um, that's going to kill a coyote. And really happy with this. Really smooth shooter. Uh, performs really well. Really liking this Vortex Strike Eagle. It's got a really low range up to a, a decent magnification, 3 to 18 power and just kind of versatile. And then it's got the illuminated reticle as well. And I'm also a big fan of the reticle design on this. But overall, really good shooter, really smooth shooter. Packs in really tight. Uh, you know, I can take this around stand to stand during coyote season. What I typically do, uh, throw this to the side here. What I typically do, get out of the truck or when I'm moving to a different stand, I'll just take the actual tripod, take it like this. And then I can just move around wherever I'm headed to next. That way you never have to take it off of the tripod. You get to a spot you want to set up real quick, deploy your legs, set it up, and you're on. So really happy with this setup. Uh, looking forward to coyote season this year with this. Like I mentioned in the uh, build spec video on this, I'm planning to put the thermal on this and kind of run this at nighttime as well. Right now it's set up in daytime conditions because of the vortex scope but got the flexibility with the uh, quick release here on the american defense mount uh, to pop this off and then throw the thermion on, on top so stay tuned for that plan to put out a lot more coyote hunting content this fall and this winter and uh, really looking forward to it man i just love getting out at night uh, just me and the coyotes and hitting some calls and learning every chance i get but um, make sure and stay tuned for that that's going to be coming up soon can't wait uh, if you guys have any questions on this build, on anything on this rifle, coyote hunting related, anything at all, make sure and let me know. Appreciate you guys being here, and as always, happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.